Hi everyone, welcome to the eighth and final leg in the Brew Bear Beer Festival sponsored by Mr. Ant Rogerson. As you know, we've been from Barbados in the Caribbean to Barnsley, Centre of the Universe in the UK, to Holland, then to Camden in North London, um, Ireland, Mexico, the US of A, and now we have Ant's Russian Imperial Stout, limited edition 15 of 22. Um, I brought this back with me from the main uh, beer festival day because uh, it's a bit lively. I believe it's made with um, a yeast strain from Chernobyl and maybe Chernobyl grains and hops as well. It's a bit of a lively one. So this <laughs> this is either going to go great or it's going to go absolutely chuffing everywhere. So let's crack this bad boy open. But can you see that label that Ant's done? Hammer and sickle. CCCP as it was when back in the day, USSR. Here we go, back in the USSR. Oh, but hang on. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, not exactly what I had in mind when somebody said a uh, gushing Russian. Anyway, I know that Ant got the recipe from the uh, good book, so I'm just having a look at chapter. Uh, the page page one hundred and eighty Russian Imperial Stout, um, circa eight percent or eight point two um, pale malt, crystal malt, roasted barley, chocolate malt, Carafella special three malt, Challenger and Golding hops. Um, mm, well, this is available, of course, from all good bookstores and a few bad ones as well. Um, superb book, actually, and. Um, Ant's done a campaign to the, his good friends at the Gideons and not only now around the world when they put the, uh, the Gideons Bible in, they put the Brew Bible in there as well. Right, here she is, Russian Imperial Stout. Now it did, hands up, it did kick up a lot of crap off the bottom um, which you can expect from that uh, eruption that happened so there's a fair old bit at the base but we'll give it a, give it a whirl and see the splattered round the glass as well um, but uh, cheers everyone cheers Ant really appreciate all the beers my friend top job oh yeah get the um, richness of the roll the, of the dark malts a um, little bit of after um, after burn on it as well because of the um, the strength on it a little bit bitter as well, but uh, that could have been uh, slightly sort of bo bollocks up for a better term because of the uh, eruption on it. But yeah, I like that. Ant. I'll give that a um, and give that an eight out of ten, sir. Well, thanks once again for all the all of the all the beers, and thanks for everyone for watching. And um, naturally, if anyone else is out there, have got some beers I want to send my way, get them in. Cheers, ladies and gents, and as always, be seeing you.